if I've offended anybody tonight, and you're going to go on social media and besmirch me, at least pronounce my name correctly. Kevin Hart. That's Kevin with a K. Uh, we're the same height. But uh, <laughs> it's very difficult to be a comedian right now, you know, because they keep changing the goalposts, you know. They, everything, like, I used to say homeless in my act, and someone told me that's now offensive. Now you have to say undomiciled or unhoused. And next year, outdoorsman. I guess we'll try that. Or... I, I kid the homeless people because they're not here and I'm a dick. But my point is this. Uh, and I am a dick. If I took Viagra, I would just get taller. But that's not my point. My point is, I, whenever I go to Vegas, and I go to Vegas a lot, I always make a point of giving money to the homeless. Topless, sorry, the topless. Giving money to the topless. Because uh, I support the arts. But... Uh, even in Vegas, they've changed a lot of the names of the games because they didn't want to offend anybody. So no longer is it Black Jack, now it's African American Jack. And no longer is it One Eye Jack, now he's Visually Impaired Jack. And no longer is it Poker, now it's Take Her Out to Dinner in a Movie. Uh, you're very kind. You know, a lot of people say laughter is the best medicine. And by sitting through my show this evening, I've added 20 minutes to each of your lives. <laughs> That's the good news. The bad news, it's just 20 minutes at the end when you're on a respirator in agonizing pain. So you're welcome. Uh, but it's tough for us. We can't do political stuff now. People get very upset. I just said the word political and I could hear a lot of your sphincters slamming shut with discomfort. <laughs> And I'm not even a political guy. Last time I voted, it was for Clay Aiken, and he lost to Reuben, so... Uh, I'm not political. And I... Who am I? I'm a comedian. Who am I to make fun of the past president or the current president? I could never be president. You have to be a naturalized, born citizen, and I was C-section. And... Uh, it's a tough job, you know? I, 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 I respect the presidency. I think it's the toughest job. You got to deal with nut jobs, like right now Putin, obviously, and you got to deal with North Korea and Iran and ISIS. And I'll tell you something, I actually hang the ISIS flag and the Confederate flag in front of my house. And I'll tell you why I do that. I do that because I cannot uh, afford a home security system. So <laughs> my house is under 24 hour surveillance <laughs> by the FBI, the CIA, and the NSA for free. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, all right, so uh, I do want to compliment you and me also. I mean, we all lived through a very tough couple of years, the last couple. We, obviously, we had the pandemic. We had the uh, storming of the Capitol. We had the murder hornets, and we had the riots during the summer. And we had all that stuff going on. But the part that got me the most was cancel culture. As a comedian, it's the death of us. You know, everything gets canceled. We canceled former presidents. We canceled uh, Pepe Le Pew from Bugs Bunny, who was apparently a sexual predator, so we can't... Dr. Seuss was canceled. One of the Muppets was canceled. Mr. Potato Head was canceled. Uh, the one that really killed me, though, was uh, at Christmas. We canceled a Christmas song that was written in the 1940s called Baby, It's Cold Outside. People were triggered. They said that the, the lyrics had uh, toxic masculinity and date rape vibes and stuff, which is fine if you feel that way. You're entitled to feel that way. But the exact same time that we canceled that song, the number one song in our nation for over two months was entitled Wet Ass Pussy. I am not making that up. Google it. You can fact check me on that. Over two months, the number one song in the country. 